Hello from Slovenia. I hope we hear. Can you hear me? And see the presentation. Okay, since I don't have any feedback, let's hope that we hear. I mean, I can, and that you can see the, the presentation. So today I will present our project Talent Journey, which is actually the platform for IoT excellence. So in the name of our partnership. Um, so we know that IoT is all around us and in the future the Internet of Things will drive really most of manufacturing processes. Uh, that's why we are very happy to be part of this transformation and innovation. So what was the talent journey idea in the background? Um, all the partnership that was brought together, we share the same idea that we want to bring this VET provision, I mean IoT and VET provision to the excellence but we focus very much on user centricity and we want that all technologies or solutions that are going to be developed needs to simplify our lives and work, not to make it even more complicated. And what's going to be very important, we need to act environment friendly, not damage our environment. Um, that's why we follow the trends. We are inspired by the trends every day. And since I said that we focus on user centricity, we co-create with our users because if we don't have our users, we can't act and we need their feedback so that we can innovate and improve all the time. But everything we do on our regional level, especially good cases, we want to share it internationally. So as the other projects in front of us, we innovate that. We innovate learning and teaching processes, but if we innovate learning and teaching, we need to change also the organizational models because we, don't, we can't force and, I don't know, these learning and teaching processes, we can't push them into the existing organizational models. And these new, new innovative ways in organizational models, they are going to, they are leading us through new ways of collaboration with our VET stakeholders. So um, these are actually our activities, but if you want to innovate the whole process and we are creating, these are some of the background activities which need to support the whole process all the time and are going to be very important. One is skills needs research. We need to get knowledge flows all the time, what is happening in IoT field, professional development of people who are actually the main actors in this, in this process. We need to innovate the ecosystem. We need to allow that the new partners arriving inside. And of course, we need to act digital. But that's everything because we want to act according to user interests and needs. Um, so we drive actually transformation by bringing together capabilities needed to help organizations grow and thrive in this digital era. We experience what does it mean this COVID-19 situation, now we are even more aware what we need to do. That's why we are bringing together talents, researchers, and industry partners to constantly grow and shape the European IoT Talent Network. So what we work on, so since November last year, uh, first of all, we started with skills needs research. We made the desktop research. So we went from the global perspective to the regional one. That's why we um, implemented for uh, the interviews with the companies, with 41 companies in Italy, in Estonia, Finland, and Slovenia. And here are some of the insights, or let's say the results from this report, that the most, um, the most needed fields inside the IoT, in the, it's already now, but also in the future, is and are going to be artificial intelligence and augmented reality, cybersecurity, robotics engineering, production process development, and data science. And all these fields, they need to be constantly also supported with meta skills, such as decision making, critical thinking, teamwork, emotional intelligence, and of course, green skills, as we said, that we need to act environment friendly. So these are some of the quotes from the reports or from the interviews that we made together with uh, by in the companies. So that IoT creates value by transforming conventional business models. And we know that especially now, as I mentioned before, after the COVID-19 crisis, this 
this innovation of business models will, need, will be even more essential than before. But we have also young generations who are introducing a flexible and agile way of working and the number of external contractors and freelancers to get specific tasks done will increase. Uh, we also started um, in the spring with the activity of professional development in order to train key actors because this is going to be a very demanding task. So because we will need to design new educational processes, we will need to use innovative pedagogical approaches and we will need to introduce the constant knowledge flows in the IoT field. That's why we are going to train and prepare vet teachers, in company trainers, company experts, and also leadership. Um, we want the talent journey will provide inspiring and motivating training process and will face the needs and requirements of the modern society and economy. So in the next year, beginning in September, we are going to, we are going to start implementing 12 professional trainings for the key actors and four of them are going to be master class trainings and short webinars. And all these, all these trainings, they are going to be produced by company experts, researchers, and also experts working in international corporations, research institutes all around the world. So it's really a big circle of sharing knowledge. So here are some topics that we are uh, working on um, in these trainings, IoT, cybersecurity, the green IoT, um, IoT data collection management, and also user centricity and design thinking and new organizational models. So these two trainings, they are going to be led online for the leadership. We are going to use different channels and approaches also working in virtual labs using augmented reality, hands-on projects, because we want to go out really from uh, real life matters and work matters. Uh, and right now, in one month ago, we already launched also developing so uh, transnational curricula and lifelong uh, training, so upskilling and reskilling. Um, this work package is going to involve quite a lot of activities, such as developing transnational IoT curricula at EQF 4 and 5, lifelong trainings, and of course, while we are going to design the content, we are going to also need to think and to choose the innovative approaches in that provision. And we are going to establish demo labs and pilot curricula and trainings in the next year. But while we are going to design and develop the contents and innovative approaches, we will need to respect some important facts, such as that young generations, they gain knowledge through learning by doing screen touching using digital tools, that they are purpose-driven and they need authentic environment based on shared value, that we need to establish a lifelong learning culture, cooperative approach to work, such as project-based and teamwork, and of course, also thinking of older generations as adults and low-skilled people, how to inspire them or motivate them to, uh, to attract them again to the trainings and upskilling and reskilling maybe to some fear of education or some bad experiences. This is just a, a kind of a weird picture, but just let's say a kind of um, comparison of the younger generations, which are they need to act visually, they need to try and see, they demand flexibility, uh, they want to be co-creators of, of all the processes that we are doing. And it's going to be the change also in the leadership, especially it's, it's going to be transferred from command and control to collaboration and contribution. Um, in the next three slides, you can see um, how we decided the partners. I mean, inside the Talent Journey Partnership, uh, which, vet providers are, which vet providers and partners are going to focus on which areas. Uh, but in all these areas, so when we are going to develop skills now and comes in the frame of the modules, um, each module we are next to the IoT fields will also integrate green skills and meta skills. This will be a must be part. Here is the example for Slovenia vet providers. Then you can see for Italy and Finland, they focused mainly on robotics engineering and among meta skills like problem solving and critical thinking. 
and Estonia Tallinn Polytechnic mostly be focused on AI production process development and again robotics engineering. Um, that's why we already started to put together really uh, as much expertise as possible from the IoT field. Uh, but it's very important so that we put together not only teachers, leadership, but also learners. So learners, vet teachers, leadership researchers, top experts, and also people from R&D departments and University of Applied Science. So now we are making um, a kind of, let's say, regional, regional meetings where we are, now, we are designing now the structure uh, how to develop the module, which is going to be integrated into the um, transnational curricula. Um, I don't know if this is possible. I would just like to show you what was uh, created or what was designed in this COVID period, which is going to be quite an often matter in the future. I don't know if the video is being preceded. Produced not a video, it's actually a virtual lab which was produced by students, so by learners during the COVID time. And uh, they want to make a virtual lab where all the things will be possible, so also in virtual reality and with virtual tools. Um, hopefully, you could see it, but if I don't know, I'm going to continue. And there is another work package that we already also started in, uh, two months ago. It's about service blueprint for IoT platform at regional and EU level, because we want to design a new uh, stakeholder ecosystem for that excellence at EU level and at regional level. And at the end, we are going to uh, put our commitments inside the memorandum of understanding for our further collaboration. But what is here very important? So um, the lead partner is now right in the middle of interviews, doing interviews with, uh, with uh, our main users, so with companies, with learners, with tutors. And it was done also with the leadership. And at this point, they use service design approach. So here you can see some of the examples. What does it mean? So they need, we needed to map the stakeholders which we collaborate most and which we want to spread it also to other stakeholders. So inside this IoT platform, um, we will create personas, which is actually a character created to represent a user type. And it is very important in considering the goals, needs and interests and limitations of our users. Then you can see the user journey map, which is a visualization of the process that the person goes through in order to accomplish a goal. And service blueprint, this is going to be the final result of this work package activity. It's actually how to visualize organizational processes in order to optimize how we will deliver a user experience. So through our training, through our curricula and other collaboration. Um, here are some insights, again, from the interviews um, that young learners want to decide more about their own education and have co-ownership of the educational process and content, and that students lack an understanding of the bigger picture of industry and its implications. This is also one of the biggest industry needs, that professionals who have a holistic view of IoT and automation. So all these actually... Um, quotes and insights that we learn from interview, we will need to implement it in the, in the designing and delivering of the curricula of the trainings. These things are essential. That's why we need the user feedback. And here is another quote that was made by one participant from the Association of Employers. It shouldn't be only about organizations collaborating, but rather people. So people need to take time to align views and understand what's happening to other organizations. Talking to people is important. And the last one, because we want to make our project visible, uh, we, have create, we have established already the project website we have designed a visual identity and we are going to upgrade the project website into digital platform because we want our digital platform to be a kind of guidance 
for all the services we are going to we are going to share with our users. So at one point, the user will be able to see what do we offer, what kind of trainings for key actors, what kind of mobilities, what kind of contents for curricula, what kind of IoT library we have. This is our project website and the channels of social media that we need. Here is our brand identity talent journey. Uh, we had in our mind that everyone who is going to enter our platform is going to be on a constant journey of developing and discovering their talents and potentials. Some more of visual identity for posters, for our website. But what is the most important that all the things that I have, I have presented so far, all of this is possible because of the team we have come together and this is our team. I'm very happy to share with you this photo. Uh, very nice people, very nice experts. Each individual puts a lot of effort in the things that we are doing. Um, and these are, this is one, one insight from our, first, uh, from our first workshop in Hamburg, where we were also using creative approach by using Lego cubes how to design um, an innovative and the future VET system. Very challenging. And these are our partners. So Park from Germany, Elfitec from Germany, Sata Edu from Finland, Scholsky Center Velenia, Slovenia, Isis Malignani, Italy, Tallinn Polytechnicum, Estonia, Male and Scholsky Center Kran from Slovenia, Ecipa from Italy, Samk from Finland, CPI and Cholsky Center Nova Gorica, both from Slovenia. So thank you very much. Um, thank you again to Technica for organizing really this amazing event and give us the opportunity to share our ideas with the whole world. Congratulations. And thank you to European Commission for supporting us in this challenging transformation. For any questions to all the audience, I am available at the email. Thank you, Adriana. I have a couple of questions for you, too. The first one is, you were talking about a report that you have done in the project, and some people are wondering if it will be available. Yes, it will be, it will be available. This is uh, the matter of our upgrading our uh, web page to the digital platform. Yes, certainly. It's already, I mean, we already have it in our teams, but it's going to be available for everyone. Okay, thank you. One more question I have, to, I have for you is on the application of IoT. So are you thinking more about uh, industry applications or more on school applications or is it just a mixture of both, both of them? I think that something similar was already questioned before and for sure we need to combine both things. It's very important that we think about industry demands, very, very important, but we also need to think of ped pedagogical issues. So I think the combination of both is very important. Okay. And regarding the concept of the hybrid teachers? Yes, um, I think that, I mean, we are going in that way that the teacher is not going to be only the teacher who teaches at school, but to be, that's why we were launching the mentoring scheme, all scheme, so that we are going to invite all the, I don't know, experts from companies, researchers, enthusiasts who would like to share their knowledge with, with the learners among each other, etc. So uh, this hybrid role, it's going to be very challenging, but it's a combination, definitely. Okay, thank you, very clear.